Overwrite Edit. Use an overwrite edit to replace clips in a project with the browser selection. I find the best way to understand this type of edit is to see it in action. First, select a clip in the browser. Next, choose where the clip should be placed in the project by positioning the playhead or skimmer in the timeline. The last step, perform the overwrite edit by clicking the button or pressing D. It is important to understand that an overwrite edit does not move existing clips. The overwrite is replacing the existing clips with the new clip. Watch the right side of the timeline as I perform additional overwrite edits using the shortcut D. The clips at the end are not being pushed down. We can compare this to an insert edit with the keyboard shortcut W and see that the clips are pushed down causing the duration of the project to extend. I'll use Command Z to undo the insert and perform an overwrite edit at the same location. With a secondary storyline selected, the overwrite edit places the selection in that storyline. Use overwrite on connected clips by right-clicking on a connected clip or storyline and select overwrite to primary storyline. If you do use this frequently, utilize the Option Command Down Arrow shortcut. Some editors like to cut clips while they are connected, creating a timeline that looks like this. They come to me asking what is the quickest way to close all of the gaps. Click and drag to select the clips or utilize the timeline index to search for specific clips and select them. With a selection made, Utilize the override edit with option command down arrow. These spacers are called gap clips. Use the search at the top of the timeline index to find, select, and delete the gaps. It's time for you to try it. Practice using an override edit to take connected clips and override them to the primary storyline. Or source clips from the browser into the primary storyline or a selected secondary storyline.